So here I am, 285 pounds sole, uh, and you're just a little guy in the CJ7. What year is this thing? 76. So 76 CJ7. Jack has been building this for how many years have you been building? About five. About five years. So two years ago, he came by the shop, it was all in primer form, and he was just finishing up all the mechanicals, meaning driveline angles, suspension, steering, all that, and it was running and driving, but then you had to take it home and do everything else, right? Yes. So when you left here, what did you have left to do? You had... Full paint, uh, did a whole new roll bar. Yep, and then all the wiring. Yep. You did, we had a roll bar before, you just didn't like it, right? Yeah. Yep, and so you stock. did the Genrite uh, put together kit with the Genrite uh, metal top. And then basically, like they say, uh, the last 10% is 90%, so it took you two years to dial all this in, but I mean, I can see all the hours right here. So right in front of us, you got your switch panel, right here handy, easy to reach, easy to grab for everything. Air compressor, front locker, rear locker, lights, everything's there, right? Um, tell us about the rest of the dash. What kind of gauges do you have? Uh, speed hut gauges. So speed hut gauges. And I notice you got oil and bolts, but what do you got here on these I got two? a main onboard air here and uh, air locker, air pressure. Yep, and I see a dome light switch here, USB port, cigarette lighter, locking uh, glove box. I mean, there hasn't been one thing missed. You got the UTV uh, sun visors added in here. Those are sweet. And then what's this right up here? This uh, MP3 player, Bluetooth. Uh, unit. This doesn't take a tape? No. We could convert that though. Because I mean I know you're in a band. What's the name of your band? Priest DC. Priest DC. They they, they played up there at the cantina and uh, you were listening to tapes when you started in 1981. Oh yes. Yeah so he's the lead guitar in the band and let me tell you um, they only play either rock or roll. That's it. Yeah. Um, so it's pretty comfortable here. The seats are awesome. Corbo seats right? Yes. And then you have a Tuffy center console eight inch wide. Um, tell me about the transmission transfer case. I got the T18 transmission with the so Dana Granny 20, Low. Granny yep. Low. Dana 20 transfer case with the Terra Low 3 to 1 kit in there. So it's got 3.125 low gears in, in the Dana 20. T18 and then you got the straight six. Mm -hmm. And God bless your soul, you're making me happy. No goddamn fuel injection on nope. this. No. Nope. Carburetor. One barrel carburetor. It may not be a power horse, but when it's on the trail and you're crawling, it doesn't skip a beat, does it's it? Like a tractor. Yep. Yeah, not flooding on the up or down or nope. sideways or anything. You dump this thing in the river, you may fry all your electronics, but you'll drive right That's out. That's right. Yep. So you got the Genrite basket here, um, and then we'll look and see what you got as far as cargo stuff in the back as well. So uh, I say we jump out of this thing and we'll walk around and we'll see the suspension. So the reason why this CJ7 really stands out to me is it's not like all the others. And what makes it not like all the others is this has spring under. And Jack, what size tires are you running? 37s. So 37 inch tires and not too much body lift. How much body not lift? One inch body lift. So one inch body lift. So to fit 37s and spring up under the one inch body lift, how much arch do your springs Probably have? Probably four inch. So you got four inch springs, and then what are those, BDS? Oh, uh, no, they're uh, the Rubicon Express. So the Rubicon Express spring under four inch springs and the Wrangler width front and rear. Yes. So that brings me to this front end. So you're running a Dana 44 front end, spring under, which is basically Wagoneer based. And unfortunately, we didn't build it for you. It came from East Coast Gear Supply, but it's how we would do it. Now, what did we have to do right over here in order to get the high steer to work for you with it spring under and it so low. It came on top of the knuckle and it was going to hit the frame on compression so you guys flipped it the opposite way to make it clear. All so the springs we retapered the, the high steer arm, came from the bottom up because you have the clearance, the leaf spring's not in the way. That gave us the room here uh, to clear the frame so he has high steer on a spring under um, with 37s and everything's fitting. And that's not easy to do. Here you got the uh, YJ bumps in there Bilstein shocks with reservoirs, um, shackle reversal, just an overall really, really clean setup of running 37s and spring under on a CJ. I see you put the poison spider louvers in the hood. Yes. Um, and it's 100 degrees a day. It's hotter than shit. Mm -hmm. And uh, everything uh, still not overheating and working. So let's work our way down the side here. Did you build these or are these the poison spider ones? Poison spider defenders. 
Yep, and then you had you had built this before, and then I love how you added this little section, huh? Yeah, some more foot step on there. And then just put diamond plate on mm -hmm. here. And these are the Warrior Products half doors mm -hmm. with the PRP pads. Yep. You got all the bags on the inside mm -hmm. of the doors for your guns and knives and you know extracurriculars. Um, so, I mean, one of the cleanest put together CJ7s I've ever seen. So what do you have in the rear end here? It's a JK489 uh, rear end. So it's got 488 gears and they took a JK housing, narrowed it, so it's big tube. Uh, that means it's probably 32 spline or is it 35 spline? 35 spline. So 35 spline, ARB, just like the front, right? Um, old school diamond plate corners. That's all the I mean, Dan Duffy off your rocker panels right there. Is he still around? No, he passed away. He yeah. passed away. So old Dan off your rocker, when I first started the business 20 years ago, I used to get all my corners from him. He was in Half Moon Bay, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's my jeeping buddy. Yep, and uh, you just don't see old school diamond plate corners anymore, you know, so I appreciate that. Um, why don't you open up the back here for us, show us what you got in the back. And did you build this rack? I had a friend of mine make this one 22 years ago, and I just kind of played with it, converted it. How so I you it. got a gas tank, water tank, holds your 37. I like that. Just made the box. So more diamond plate, huh? Yep. You're trying to, that, you're trying to make the 80s shine here, huh? That's it. Nice storage Oh, box. there you go. Nice little door that opens up, store yeah. in there. Then you got the 55 quart ARB on the slide. Comes out. That's for all your beverages. You keep your milk in there. Oh my lord, look at that. <laughs> you know what? It's afternoon. Yep. Banquet beer. Like, how many guys <laughs> show up with banquet beer cold in the ARB fridge? Let me check it out. delicious <laughs> Ooh, I like Perfect. that yep I knew he was gonna have Coors original too I just <laughs> knew it so that that everything slides good storage good stowage I mean CJ7 doesn't give you a lot of room I love the pins here um, I mean just the whole I just made a order. receiver hitch for the tires so I could pull it off if I'd like to and not use it sometimes oh, so you could pop the tire off on the receiver maybe put another ice chest rack yes. or something um, I mean Overall, one of the cleanest spring under uh, fully built CJ7s on 37s that I've ever seen. Jack, thank you for bringing it up to show it to I us. I appreciate it. I yep. hope that all of our uh, customers and watchers at home can see that you know you don't have to go spring over, but you know to get to accomplish spring under is not easy, mm -hmm. and you've done it. Yeah, thank you. So thank you. I want to thank a lot of my friends too and buddies helped me out get this thing going sometimes. There's a lot of help they gave me so it's pretty cool. I mean a five-year project and yep. uh, you're gonna hit the trail for the first time tomorrow yep. and then we'll see you on Jeepers Jamboree in a week. Yep. So well thanks for bringing it by. All right, thank you. Hi Jack. Appreciate see ya. It. Well we could not look under the hood so what the hell we opened up the hood. So what do you got here Jack? Hydro boost uh, brakes. Just like we always do hydro boost brakes and then this is one of, this is pretty cool. What do you air, got there? Air, that's the old air compressor. That's the sand and style air yep. compressor. Coming over here to oil separator, gauge, chuck, and then I noticed your plumb to the back of the Jeep, yes. to the front of the Jeep. Um, everything's been cleaned, painted, put together. There's that badass one barrel carburetor in there. Yep. And then uh, what's your battery set up there? I got two dual uh, Odyssey batteries on a switch, you know, from the cab there. Yep. So I can run either one I want. And then I noticed you have the DUI ignition. Yes. Yep. And then one thing that I noticed is here's an ARB compressor, right? So I you run that's... two separate systems, right? Yep. That way you don't contaminate with your onboard air, oil exactly. and stuff like that into the ARB system. And the single ARB pump is so small, you can mount it anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that made it easy to mount that. Um, there's a, what's that radiator overflow right here? Yes. Yep. Um, and just a lot of clean wiring and everything else. So underneath the hoods, just as nice as everything else.